Hello YouTube and welcome to Crochet with the Mother of Boys. I'm Michelle, the Mother of Boys. Today we're going to venture into yarn dyeing. I mean, I'm terrified. How about you? <laughs> but you know what? I'm also super excited. So um, today we have, we're just going to do two skeins today because um, I don't want to mess up all my yarn that I have. So we're just going to play with two today. Um, but today we are going to be playing with Cascade Yarns. Um, and sport weight. Let's see, what does it say here? Is 100% Peruvian Highland wool. Um, and this is a 50 gram ball, um, 164 yards or 150 meters. So, yeah, and it's made in Peru. And yeah. So, we're going to play with these today. Um, I'm just going to be using, I really, really, really wanted to do like neon rainbow, is what I had wanted. Um, I looked everywhere, could not find neon yarn. Uh, sorry, neon food coloring. Um, Cause I'm not gonna play with the, <laughs> the fancy stuff <laughs> for my first time. So I thought, let's just do food coloring. Um, but this is as best as I could get. This is as close as I could get to. Um, I found at Walmart. Uh, unfortunately it only came in um, green, blue, pink, and purple. Um, so it doesn't have all the colors. So then I just dug through and found a super old box of Clubhouse food coloring <laughs> um, and grabbed yellow. And then when I did my own little swatches here, the yellow is actually quite neon, which is great. Um, the pink is very red, so that should be interesting. I know, I think it says it's magenta technically, um, but it's very red. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I love that green, like love that. Um, and then the purple, um, so you can see it's actually, it, breaking um, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually try a dip dye with the purple and see if I can get that really cool um, effect where it goes from I think it would go from blue up to purple would it be or is it purple up to blue or red I forget how it goes um, anyways I've seen it a handful of times in different videos and I want to try that dip dye technique um, for sure today and then other than that I, I don't know I'm not positive how else I want to do this yet um, I'm thinking I might try to do a rainbow, um, but I'm, maybe you guys are getting tired of my rainbows, but um, <laughs> but I think I might want to try that as at least a, a first attempt at something and then we can get fancier later on. Um, but yeah, so that is what we're going to try today. All right, so step one here, um, we have warmed up our water to just like um, not not much of a boil, just the lightest boil, um, because with the wool you don't want to felt it, or at least I don't want to felt it. Um, so we're gonna start with the purple first, and then I'm just gonna start dripping because yeah, I'm just gonna start dripping too. I'm gonna try 14 drops because, well, 14 is my number, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> this may color my uh, spatula, but we'll see. Right. Um, see. I'm just gonna take a paper towel and see if I can get a swatch of. Oh, that's barely purple. Okay, so we're gonna add a lot more color. Just 10 more drops, let's see how that does. Now let's try this puppy out. That's more color, but not as dark as I would like. Okay. Clearly we need a lot more color than I thought. So. Alright. 20 more. We've done 45, 44 drops so far. Better. 
but still not as dark as I'd hoped. Mind you, I know it's neon, so... Hmm. Let's do some more. Let's do 20 more. One more to make it... I guess I'd be... 65 drops we've done then. Spatula's starting to get a little bit purple, so that might be a good sign. And mm. Alright, let's do 20 more. So this will be 85. And I apologize if you hear a baby shark in the background, but um, I'm doing this while Cypress is napping, rains at school, and uh, my husband's home, so he's taking care of Noxie, and Nox loves baby shark. So we've been watching a lot of baby shark lately, but okay, that's definitely better. It's still not super purple. Compared to if you look, Look at the swatch that I did. I mean, I know this is obviously concentrated and this is with water, but I mean, wow, that's a big difference in color, so. Okay. So we have 85 in here. Let's just go for 15 more. We'll make it 100 and call it quits for the day. <laughs> mm, right. We're just gonna say, that's it, 100 drops. We're done, we're good. Okay, so like I said, we want to make sure this is not like a rolling boil, but you want it hot. Um, so you don't want to felt the yarn, especially when it's not super wash. Um, you can felt it, and I don't want to do that. Um, with the yarn, when you take it out of the skein, um, they have the, the loop here that keeps it all together. So I'm just going to hold on to that. And all right, let's do this. Wish me luck. And here we go. It's a lot harder to get the yarn in there than I thought. That's a really pretty color. So funny. I've seen people do this and I'm like, it looks so easy. This is a lot harder than I thought it'd be. <laughs> so funny. It's also nerve wracking because you're like, oh, I want to do a nice like ombre, but it's like, when do I go deeper? I don't know. I don't know. Alright. We're watching. Um, Carlton from Yarn is a Second Language doing this and he was <laughs> kind of panicking and I was laughing at him but now hey Carlton I apologize I see why it's nerve wracking it really is <sighs> well because you pay you know you pay good money for the wool and uh, you don't want to mess it up but okay let's go down a little further then oh interesting starting to get some new colors in here This is, yeah, it's not breaking the same way in the yarn as it did on the paper, which is very interesting. On the paper, we definitely had um, purple in the middle and blue on the sides. And this is just looking like a pinky purple. So, almost like a ruddy purple in some ways. Very interesting. There's still a lot of color in here. So we may not get a proper ombre. <laughs> Oy, we'll see. I'd love it if I got a nice ombre, but I just don't know if I'm going to. Oops, sorry camera. Oops, sorry camera. Just realized hopefully my hand's not blocking all this. Yeah, this is just looking very tonal at this point. Oh well, it's a first try. And if we just get a solid neon purple, I am not going to be mad. I think that's a... Probably we all realize at this point purple is probably my next favorite color, so. Hey, Noxie. You got puppy? You got puppy, so nice. 
Are you giving puppy a hug? So nice. Mommy will give puppy a hug in a few minutes, kiddo. Mommy's just doing something real fast. Okay, yeah, there's like a ton of color in here still. There's a little bit of an ombre happening, but I don't think it's going to be a very distinct ombre. Oh well, that's okay. And it's not as deep as the purple as I thought it was going to be, but again, it's all about learning. All about learning. And I think that I'm really glad I started with this technique first and I didn't try to jump right into doing a rainbow because that would have not been smart of me, I think. Again, I've watched a ton of chem knits, but uh, yeah, I don't think I was quite ready for that. <laughs> so, I'm not sure what to do with this. Okay. So, I'm gonna turn this really low now. I'm gonna set a timer for even 10 minutes. And I'm gonna come back and see where we're at in about 10 minutes then. Okay, so um, I lied. It was ended up being 15 minutes I left the yarn because Knox needs some cucumbers. So <laughs> um, anyways, I decided to um, put this, the string, whatever, um, around that so that I could try to keep the tip out in hopes that it would keep it lighter on the end and maybe actually get a bit of a ombre hmm interesting there's still a lot of color and funny enough it looks very blue so i think i've turned the uh heat right off completely so i think what i'm going to do is oh, oh no no um i'm going to leave this to completely cool um so that might be i don't know 45 minutes half hour we'll see um, and, uh, I don't know um, yeah, and then see where we're at, because if there's a lot of blue still left in there, because this has turned out very pinky, um, like a super pink purple, and I really would love to have more of that, like, true purple purple in there, so I'm going to, yeah, I think I'm just going to leave it, let it cool, and hopes that some of that blue will absorb, um, like I said, I'm going to leave do this so that the tip stays out and that can stay pinky purple. And who knows? We'll see we'll see what becomes of this very first attempt at yarn dyeing. So yeah, so I'll see you guys back in about half an hour. We'll check on it and we'll go from there. Okay, I'm back. But just for a second here, I just want to you know show you something really cool. So I keep looking at it going, man, it looks so blue in there, but yet the yarn looks so pinky. So I'm gonna take my um, paper towel and look at this. Look how blue that is. That is amazing, that is so cool. So even though the yarn is very pink, what's left in there is, you know, a lot more blue. Um, so who knows? Who knows what will actually happen at the end of all this? But the baby's crying, so now it's my cue to go get him and I'll talk to you later. Okay, so it's been probably at this point about 40 minutes since I let it cool, I turned everything off. But I just had a revelation. <laughs> Again, I'm going to preface this with the fact that I have never done this before. I've watched, yes, I've watched lots of videos, but I've never actually attempted yarn dyeing. And as I was feeding the baby, I realized, oh my gosh, I've missed a major step in, in doing this. And that would be the acid. Um, so yeah, the white vinegar. Totally forgot about it. Um, I remember now, but yeah. So, you know, again, this is our first time trying this. Um, I'm just gonna, I turned on the stove again to warm up a little bit. Um, I mean, the color's obviously taking, but it's not taking like I thought it would. Um, so I'm going to, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it out as, whoop, I'm totally getting in the way. I'm gonna take it out as much as I can without it actually dripping all over the place. I'm going to put a bunch of white vinegar in and then we are going to attempt doing this uh, dip dye again. Ah. 
so funny. I am laughing at myself, guys. I don't know how much I need, so I'm just gonna put a ton. A ton, that's what I'm gonna put in. Again, not a professional, doing this for the first time for fun. Um, yeah, so, hmm, the yarn has cooled off quite a bit, so. I'm going to take this off. Do, 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 do. And let's try to get some of those blues in here now, finally. I'm gonna put that back on. All right, let's try this again. I don't know if it'll work. We may have pooched, but let's try it. So funny, honestly, it just hit me all of a sudden. I'm like, oh, I know what I did wrong. <laughs> so funny. Oh well, have to start somewhere, right? Gotta start somewhere. I hopefully you guys can see that the water's cleared significantly now um, because the <laughs> the acid, the yarn can actually grab it now. So yes, um, so I'm gonna leave this again now. I turned off the heat because I wanted to get slightly warmer and it's just smoking a little bit. It's not boiling or anything. So to me, that's fine. I'm gonna call that cool. Um, like I said, I left the tip out so that will stay that color and let it cool for another, I'm gonna probably come and check in like 10 minutes just to see, but it'll probably sit again for like half an hour or so um and yeah we'll see we'll see how much better this worked now that we actually added that key ingredient <laughs> so we'll see in about 10 minutes okay so it's actually been about 35 minutes because you know life um but yeah i mean the water's definitely cleared significantly oh look at that oh wow maybe we do have a bit of an ombre on it hmm should be interesting. I'm gonna leave it just to keep cooling. It's still a little hot, but yeah, I think either way, it's gonna be a pretty color. It's gonna be a pretty, a pretty purple. That little bit of pink at the top, which is what I was hoping to get something like that. So, and then let that last little bit of blue just absorb as best it can. Um, yeah, so. I'm gonna leave it for, I don't know, I'll come check in again in about 20 minutes and to see where we're at from there. Okay guys, this is my finished purple. Oh my goodness, this is messy here. <laughs> Please don't judge. Um, but yeah, I mean, look at that. Like, that turned out so cool. I love that this is, you know, a lot more red. Oh, can you see, hopefully, focus, there you go. Um, don't mind, that's just my string for keeping it together, so. Um, but I love that it has a lot more warmth in it. That's beautiful. That's just, oh, so nice. It turned out so well, even though I totally messed up and uh, had to over dye it. But that's okay, again, sometimes mistakes come up better than you would ever expect. So that is my very first try at coloring my own yarn. So stay tuned, I have another skein that I am doing right now, you can probably hear the water boiling, um, that I am working on, and until next time, happy crocheting!